Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday wow. to Daniel. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Wow. And many more. Yay! Happy birthday, babe! Hey, that's a nice... Thank you. I love you. That's a nice <laughs> end of my shift. Really? Oh, yeah. Is that cheesecake? It's dulce de leche cheesecake. Wait, you want me to get? You gotta put your hat on. <laughs> Why'd you put four in there? I don't know. Oh, there you go, there you go. Open, hey. open your little gift. I knew my babe was gonna do this. Open your little gift. My babe never fails. Oh, that's nice, I like that. The size, medium, okay, that's nice. That's very nice, I like that. Wow, I like that. I kinda look like Guayabera. Good job. And of course the cards. Of course the cards. This one. <laughs> Unfortunately. Happy birthday. Oh. You're wearing your little I'm not gonna read the whole thing out loud, baby. You don't have to read the whole thing out loud. Happy birthday! Thank you, babe. It's tomorrow, but thank you. This is the beginning of your birthday weekend. I love you. Love you too, babe. Thanks, babe. Where are we at, baby? What's up guys? We are in an area close to Tennessee and I think at the edge of Georgia dropping off Remy. I told you guys yesterday during a little happy birthday that um, we were dropping off Remy. We were driving and we didn't want to record any of it because honestly it was boring as far as like the scenery and stuff like that. Yeah. So can I go? Just go, yeah. So um, basically we're finally here. We left Miami at 5.30 miles, turn and left we onto got Road. here at, uh, what time is it? It's 5.46. 5, 5, whatever. 5.46 and literally my bottom is numb because yeah. we've been driving for so long but we like to usually eat, leave super early when we go far places so that way we don't waste the whole day driving um, and we're going to drop off Remy. It's going to be a little emotional because he's going to be gone for two months. <laughs> He's gonna be a good trainer. The trainer we're taking him to, he's really awesome. Uh, he has nine dogs, like personal dogs, and then he trains four dogs a month of other people's. So Remy's gonna be actually one of the only external dog that he's training. So it's awesome. He's gonna be like on his own and he'll be, oh, look at that house. He's gonna be on his own and he's going to have all the attention. So that's actually, it actually worked out really good. So we're excited. We're gonna go eat after this because we're starving and then we're gonna go head to the hotel. See you guys there. We made it out to Ringgold and Remy is about to be released for training for two months. Remy. Remy here. What's up guys? So we just finished dropping off Remy. It was a little emotional because we're gonna be without him for two months, but we know that he's gonna be in 
really good hands, hands that are gonna teach him and care for him. And essentially, Remy was born to be out here in the wild in pastures and to hunt bird. That's his breed. So I will miss him. Daniel said he's not gonna miss him because he's gonna no, be doing. He's gonna be doing what he loves, like what he was born to do. Like these dogs were not born to stay cooped up in a thousand five hundred square feet house. They were meant to be in 1,500 acres of land and running miles. Like, that's what they're born to do. And that's what they love. And they put their head to the ground and they just start smelling immediately for a scent. That's what they are born to do. So it's like taking that away from them, it's not right. So if you're going to buy a dog like that, you, you have to put them on birds. That's just the reality. We're going to eat some barbecue, guys. We are starved. Or is it the same place? I think everything's home cooked there. What are they gonna say it's like? There's so many yummy things in the menu. So, we we could choose one, but we have to. Oh man. Oh man. Great way to start your birthday weekend, right? We're in the south. Well, Daniel loved that and finished his whole plate, and we took it to go box for me. Jessica didn't eat anything. I couldn't help it. I couldn't stuff myself. Just got to the hotel right now, Atlanta. About an hour and 40, an hour and 30 minutes away from where we were at, south of us. So we have our flight tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the morning. Which means to Miami. we have to go to sleep early because it's already nine o'clock. Yeah, but the best part about it is that we don't have to drive. Planes are amazing, two hour flight, you know? And we basically drove, how long did we drive? Away. We drove two hours. No, we drove like 11 out, 11 and a half hours. Oh, today, yeah. Yeah, so it's crazy. We're in the uh, beautiful Marriott, courtesy of my father. Um, but for some reason, it said Holiday Inn out front. So I think, I think we're actually in Holiday Inn. Um, but, uh, courtesy of my pop. You know, he's, he's, he's a platinum Spire member. And he's been for about 40, 40 years. Hey, this Her is a day, blessing. Crazy, I'm a pop, bro. There's nothing a like... Oh, oh, oh. Look at that big, big bathroom. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Daniel, this is better than oh, this is sleeping awesome. on this the floor, a, okay? This is an absolute blessing. This is a blessing, man. And we got a little coffee day, if you know what I'm saying. You could put that leftover in there. We're going to take a shower and pop up on this bed. Probably knock out. But thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to day one of Daniel Lopez's birthday weekend. Guys, so we just woke up, crack it on. We don't want to miss our flight. We got to drop off our car. Free airport station and GICC. Please hold on, this train is departing. Next stop is airport station. What's up, y'all? We, we just are made it. in Miami. You see the big difference? Palm trees, the sun. <laughs> We're gonna go get some donuts. Start my birthday weekend off right. You. Look at that highlight, bro. It's not. We are at First Watch because Guys, First Watch is one of my favorite something. breakfast spots. I didn't do something that I do every single year for Daniel's birthday. Not every single year. We well, just did that is, last year. It's, it's okay. all the free stuff, which we got a lot of stuff last year. But 
when it's your birthday, mm. you sign up for all these restaurants and mm -hmm. they send you a free something and I forgot to do it this year. We did it last year in Jacksonville, right? Yes, and we yeah. got like, we were so full. Yeah. We couldn't even finish it. So we got our drinks. I got the kale tonic, which has kale, lemon, apple, ginger, I think, and all these good stuff. Great way to start the morning. And my love got iced coffee. Tastes good. And guys, look at this baby hot sauce they gave us. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So cute. Wow. Look at that. Did you get there? Good morning. What's up guys? So we're on our way back home and we had all these plans but it looks like it's gonna thunderstorm. No, it ain't looking like it's look flip the camera. It's wait, there's wait, wait, wait. Alright, wait, wait. Alright, there's one, two, three, go. There's almost a category one hurricane coming. Like it's almost like 60 miles per hour wind. Category one, 75 miles per hour. So. Okay, Mr. Meteorologist. So we got the clusters over here and the northeast winds are about 51 knots. Multiply that by 1.15 miles per hour and that's how you get the miles per hour from the knots. So you have that cluster coming through Puerto Rico, the southeast side, and it's <laughs> adjusting to the Miami winters. So you can see it's looking pretty rough out there. Yeah, it's coming. So we changed Perfect our plans. Perfect birthday weather. Perfect birthday weather to do what? We, I want to hang out. I just want to relax. And if it's like what this, whatever, I don't care. Like, we had a plan to like maybe go fishing on a boat tomorrow, but like I'm okay. We're, we're not. We're probably not gonna do that. And I'm fine. Like, I am blessed that I'm 28, and I'm with my wife. And 28 I'm off. never looks so great. And I'm off. So this is what how I enjoy. We'll go watch a movie. We'll go buy stuff to make a pizza or go. Get something to make we already have dessert that we haven't ate that you got me the the what is it oh the one that they saw in the happy birthday video yeah so yeah i'm, I'm fine dulce de leche I'm tired. chocolate cake we drove 12 hours yesterday i'm exhausted we drove actually 13 and a half hours because we had to drive to the airport from where we dropped my dog off so some time has passed and we've just been home we took a couple of naps you know we just kind of relaxed we read our word it rained a little bit here because there was supposed to be a hurricane a little tiny hurricane like a tropical storm coming but i think it's already passed it was like five minutes of rain <laughs> that's the beauty about miami sometimes it just comes and just the clouds and the and the winds are just so fast that it just swipes it away so now we're at a place because we are filming a pizza night and a movie night we're at this place we got a all the way pizza and we got some garlic knots. We have Dr. Pepper at our house. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have that. And we're going to eat the cheesecake the food. after. And then we're going to eat the cheesecake after. We're going to watch a movie. I enjoy this. This is a great birthday. And she doesn't think that I'm enjoying this because for my 21st birthday, she got me a skydiving trip. I went skydiving off a plane. Uh, one of my birthdays, she blindfolded me. She drove me two hours away to a huge theme park um so she she <laughs> wants to do these things for every single birthday and i'm like dude it's gonna be a time where like this is not gonna happen and it's okay like with this whole quarantine thing and all this I going know. on it's just nothing's I'm not really open good at surprises, so it's it's all I've, right though it's all I've right though i've literally ruined every single surprise i've tried to make for him because <laughs> i just can't keep it in no the funniest thing is that so my birthday was my birthday surprise like a, a, a balloons with the cake was was two days ago and i got off my shift okay i call her and, and she replies with that like iphone thing that says like that I you can click talk. To, sorry i can't talk right now she never replies with that what does that even mean like just don't I even just don't even answer sometimes. so as soon as she said that she, as soon as she did that i was like okay so she's obviously at the store or she's buying me something a cake or something so i just because i'm just I always think about this stuff and she can't really surprise me. It's hard for her, so it's okay. What's up, y'all? It is a new day and we're starting off this new day 
with new donuts. So we're going to Mojo Donuts and we're gonna enjoy the flavors of crazy donuts. Oh shoot, here we go. So we are gonna try some of these donuts. We got four because usually we get like 12 and they're like overdone. Guys. Am I gonna try it first because it's my birthday weekend? Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Remember how every single donut video I always say at the end, yeah, but it's not better than the ones that we had in San Diego. I don't think I'm gonna say this for this video. Just saying. All right, babe, let's do it. Okay. So, let's wash our hands. Which one do you think I'm gonna take first? The one now? Bacon. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Good. The consistency. Look at that. It's like plush like a pillow. Mm. Wow. That's creme brulee. So they get the, the sugar on top. They basically torch it. So it's hard like a shell. And it should have the custard inside. Yep. Mm. I haven't got the custard yet. Okay. There we go. So you didn't really comment. That one's good. It's not as good as I would thought. So the number one right now is bacon. For me though, because I love that stuff. But this is how you, they said that you do this. This is guava y queso. Put the guava seed. Wow. Babe, <laughs> chew with your mouth closed. Sarita mm -hmm. would be cringing this whole video if she saw us chewing. Mm. Mm. So is that number one over bacon or number two? Wow. This one's pretty good. And then let's try. The Abuelita, which is arroz con leche. Which is rice pudding, right? Rice, yeah, rice with milk pudding and cinnamon. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> You're making a mess. Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, you tried all four. Oh, yeah. My turn. All right. Now, my babe's turn. Lord Jesus, <laughs> I'm so done with this whole... <laughs> COVID crop. That, that just defeated the purpose. Oh. You just wiped your hands on dirty jeans. Sorry, dirty jeans. I'm hungry. Go ahead, eat. She's like a monster. Mm, you know that's good. Oh my gosh. And you don't really like, I like the sweet and salty. That's why I, that's why I like maple bacon is my favorite. Because you got a sweet donut. You got the sweet maple, and then you have the bacon, which is salty. So yummy. It's good, right? I'm sorry, guys. Look, the how, much, last look one how much she ate. Was phenomenal. Creme brulee. <laughs> mm. This place is so in the cut. Like, I look don't at, know. Look like, at the surrounding area. It's so funny. 
I think I'm not gonna say this until I tried those. Mm. Pretty good, right? Next, guava queso. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a very popular Cuban pastry. Not the donut itself, but just guava, which I don't. Comes from a fruit. Guava tree, guava fruit, and cheese which in Spanish is queso. And that's a combination that Cubans use a lot. <laughs> it's pretty distinct, right? Pretty distinct. Dude, I'm not gonna say it yet. Arroz con leche, which is rice pudding. The top has like caramel or something on it. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this the filling is so good. Watch out with the bottom. The bottom's coming out. This is another Cuban. Um, Cuban is it Cuban? Dessert. I thought it was Puerto Rican. Well, that's the name. Oh, shoot. For, huh? I'm gonna say it. This is better than Donut Bar in San Diego. We have not found a place that beat it, and we just did. Abuelita, rice pudding inside, arroz con leche, maple bacon, creme brulee, guava y queso. Mm. Thanks for tuning in to our donut tasting. Brought to you by Lopez Family. I'm not even